Hello everyone and welcome to another showcase session. My name is Hal and as usual in this series we're going to edit a photo from start to finish to showcase the capabilities of the modules that we've discussed in the dark table from A to Z series. The link to the photo can be found in the description below. You can download it if you'd like to try your hand at editing it yourself. First thing is to check the demosaic. Set it to Amaze. Next, gonna see if we would like to crop it. Maybe yes. Let's see. Yeah, I think this is this would work better. Next, the white balance. Make sure that the white balance module is set to camera reference point. And then I'll set the color balance using the color calibration module. Okay, let's see what the AI can make of this. It's a bit too blue. It's easier if you know what kind of lighting was used but we don't know it's, it's quite blue maybe it was fluorescent new yeah. okay and if we use the select well, can zoom in and Select eye white. Just before, here's after. Okay, next exposure. We have to make sure that the midtones are properly lighted before we start using the filmic module maybe a little bit more okay let's see how that works out we can always go back and change it next the filmic remember all of those modules can be found in the dark table from a to z series there'll be a link on the screen somewhere or you can look for it in on on the channel if you need help with any of the modules Maybe change the dynamic range a bit. Push the latitude as far as we can until we get a yellow parts of the curve. There's a yellow in the shadows. I can either pull the latitude back or maybe change the balance and push it a bit towards the shadows yeah that looks okay and here's what we did from the color calibration until now I think I would like the background to be a bit darker let's do that in the tone equalizer first I'm gonna create a mask around the model Feather it a bit here and mask contrast to limit it really to the contour of the model. Then we're going to toggle the polarity, this way we're working outside of the mask. And then we're going to fix the tone equalizer mask a bit. 
might not be very important as we're only darkening the background but hey let's try and then I'm going to just darken it a bit more might be a bit too much let's see yeah a little bit more maybe let's see Okay, did that create any, maybe a little bit, to, uh, a dark spot on her arm here, I'm gonna go into, back into the mask, and pull it a little bit out to make sure that her hand is properly included maybe here as well okay compress and let's see what did we do now okay next color balance well this is now properly lit but I would like to try something and see if we can make it a little bit more hmm, for lack of a better term arty don't put too much stock into that but you'll see what I mean I'm going to try to just darken the whole image There you go. Yeah, I prefer that. Again, that's what we have. Yeah, we lost all the details in the background, but that's even better. Well, let's continue in that vein then. We're going to add more pop and oomph to the photo start with local contrast again I'm going to use the drone mask and a bit of feathering to make sure that it follows the contour of the model okay and let's use the haze removal module this one is usually for landscapes but you can use it on any image to add colors and a bit of local contrast there you go and again just the model a bit of feathering doesn't have to be very precise for this what else let's put some more pop into her eyes I'm going to add a new exposure instance create mask around her eyes two of them let's hide the mask oh, first let's fix it a bit then hide it and let's see Two five point three. Let's try the point three. A uh, bit of feathering to again follow the contours. There you go. Do we want to add a vignette? 
Hmm, let's try something. Instead of a vignette, I'm going to create a new color balance. And again, limit it to the model, reverse it, and hide it. And I'm going to lower the saturation almost all the way. To, lim to ask the module to uh, limit the mask to the contour. We can always check that as well, but it doesn't have to be very precise. Let's see, what was the effect here? Yeah, the, color, the background isn't very colorful to start with, but now it's almost completely black and white or black and gray what else let's see if we can add more color to her eyes as well again this time I'm going to zoom in just try to select the iris okay roll back out and maybe add some blue to the highlight going to do any retouching but uh, you can refer to the showcase session about the retouching module if you'd like to try it I think this is done let's see what we did here is the photo after the crop and rotate and here is the end result And here we have the two side by side. You can see the original and the final result. I hope that you enjoyed this showcase session and that you found it useful. If you have any questions, remarks or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.